Yeah. All right. Is there anybody else here that got a degree? Okay, Melrose Larry Green. <laughs> Three degrees. Come here, Melrose, come on up here real quick. Who else had a degree? Amanda, you have a degree. Come on right? over here. No, I just went a lot. Come on up here. All right, we've got, we're going to have a battle of the brains right now. Please grab a seat. Melrose, come on over. Can we go any slower? Let's get the turtles leading the way, and we'll get this thing going a little bit quicker. I'm ready. Okay, grab a mic. Everybody have a mic. This is not the hardest fucking job. Daniel, here, can grab you get this one? one. Pass that down. Don, this guy too. The sound guy did too. Yeah, but Daniel, Daniel, let's hope he's got some fucking sense, okay? All right. Okay, what, do we have a chair? Is there any way you can sit down? Schizo, get her a chair. What the fuck is going on? Schizo, come on, where's your little cloth that you're supposed to wear here? In your tuxedo shirt. It's not all about just, let, let, let's see the whole breast all at once. There's got to be something like you tease a little bit. What are, what are you doing? Okay, I'm very sorry about this. What I'd like to do, I'd like people to think of a question here that you can ask anybody. I'm going to watch, and who raises their hand first will get a chance. Schizo, you're not up here. Did you graduate from college? Wait a minute, did you graduate from college? No, he didn't. Okay, so if you have a question, I'll take your question. The first question, who was our third president of the United States? First hand I see gets the answer. Obama. <laughs> okay, Obama was not the third president of the United States. What are you doing, Schizo? I'm Oh, just right. Oh, go ahead, Melrose. John Adams. Which one? John Adams. Yeah, you. Oh, I know the answer. What is the answer? Thomas Jefferson. Exactly. <laughs> and I majored in history and political science. <laughs> Okay, so this is not off to a great start. Who else has a question here? I swear to God, folks. Okay, and that's another, uh, go ahead, yes, Daniel. What year did the Civil War start? Raise your hand. Go ahead. 1861. No. Okay, uh... I got a question. What's your question? You know, like, it's... They say this country's free and land of the free, but there's still bullshit and cops, you know, with violence out in the streets every day. Okay, let me just say one thing. All right. That, that, of course, is leading back to something. I've said all along, it doesn't matter that you're a black man. I, because to me, there's one race, and that's a human race. Yeah! It's the only fair way to be in this day and age. So when you say this kind of stuff, I don't want you to push race upon me. How'd the bathroom break go? I'm all clean. Did you wash your hands? I wash my hands. Let me smell them. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. They're not wet and they smell like urine. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I just washed them. Just wash them again, please. Just wash them again? Please. Did you pee on your Al Hoffman underwear? No, I didn't. No, we're going to have to see that. What's the question? What's your name in high school? Did you uh, to? My name is Jordan. I go to Hollywood High. My question is... Who's the most badass surfer to ever surf Morrow Bay? Go ahead. No. Talking on mic, Miss Dean. Miss Dean, you know, you have your oh, mic sorry. by your brush. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do your tits talk? Because if that's the thing, stand up so people can see it a little bit better. Okay, no, I forgot. I had a Okay, this is really going off a lot better than I thought it was, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, why do you think, who thinks they're the smartest up here? Okay, Melrose, why do you think you're the smartest person at this? Because I th I'm an egomaniac, and I think I'm the smartest of anybody all the time. I got that from my mother. Does anybody else feel they're smarter than he is? I think I'd be number two. I did number two before I got here. If he's one, if he's number one, I'll be number two. So what you're saying is you're out of me. You guys don't have anything to say about that. <laughs> I'm definitely a notable. Uh, except Thomas Jefferson. Is that the way it is? Uh, not really. But I mean, uh, we are smart people, so... Just because you have a degree does not make you smart. You know, everybody gets a degree. Let's face it. This takes this effort. A lot of people. Other than that, everybody is smart. Okay, I was talking, and a lot of people don't bring their degrees to the night clubs. They kind of keep at their house. So who's trying to say that they're smarter than others? 
<laughs> no, all right. I'm about to quit the show. Yes, over there. Question, please. Uh, Jordan from Hollywood. Hi. This question's for Larry. What do you think about uh, Bernie Sanders being screwed out of all these votes? They're saying that Hillary's uh, taking all those votes. Do you believe no, that? I think Bernie Sanders is doing the right thing to stay right where he is. He's very smart. I don't think that Hillary's taking any votes. And there's a long way till uh, Philadelphia. And he's my number two person after Donald Trump. In fact, it sounds funny, but I like them both because they really say it like it is. And if I, he's been, he's gone this far. If I was Bernie Sanders, I'd say right where he is. Let me interrupt you real quick. When I heard this, I thought, oh, this will be a different way we could start the show. Something funny, something different. I thought it'd go. Didn't work with shit. I blame myself because I should have never made <laughs> Don't that blame decision. Yourself. I'm going to bl blame myself right now. I should, I should have known nothing would come out of it. Question, Don? Uh, yeah, question over there. Yes. Can each person say what their degree is? I try to get them to do. I yeah. try to get them to talk yeah. about themselves at all, but they always just, they gave it right to models because he's a stage on. And then you came in. And nobody else even fought. I would, I, I would go if I could, and I was a Batman. I would go with James Clear Lewis. Well, because this guy knows about witches and a yeah. lot of things that these other people don't know. You know facts. You know history. Well, you know I religion. Know, I don't know a lot of trivia, but I've read a lot. I have, uh, well, you know, three years of regular college, but I also have a degree of Doctor of Metaphysics from the Brotherhood of the White Temple. And I've written a translation of the I Ching based on the mathematical structure. No one else here has done that. And, well, it's, that would be considered a PhD thesis. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Uh, all right, then why don't you step up and say why you're smarter? What was your degree in again? Doctor of Metaphysics. Well, I am a witch. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he is. Nobody even says it. We live in a day and age when someone admits to being a witch and nobody says anything. And I think we've come a long way. Is that why you have so much weed? Is, is that why you have so much good weed? Well, yeah, yeah. the burning times these days uh, are involved. Is there anybody that can that remember that we have to talk into a fucking mic? Grab a mic and talk into the mic, people. I'm in on the mic. Hey guys, Don. Sure did. Okay. Look at look how smart he is, Don. <laughs> okay. Do you do you know anything about witchcraft, Bushman? Uh, yeah, I know a little bit of witchcraft because I'm from Africa, you know. Yeah, what What do you know would be the next question? Ah, uh, the next question about witchcraft. I would say oh, soccer. <laughs> yeah, Pelé. <laughs> Anyways, uh, witchcraft is not something you joke with, you know? Because mm -hmm. where I come from, uh, sometimes you've been playing around and you start, you know, you laugh and you see a bird with a one hand and you start laughing, your mouth stays the same way. So you don't just laugh. You don't laugh. Yes. You, you, work with the you, don't, you don't laugh at handicapped people. That's the thing I'm saying. No, I don't. It's not good. No, I don't know. Nobody's laughing at handicapped people. <laughs> Why would you say that? Because witchcraft is a serious thing. And we see somebody looking like they're deformed and they have a handicapped disability. You start laughing. You know what? Nobody's laughing at it. How'd you turn witchcraft into that? My man just going somewhere. Well, he's talking about the witchcraft that he knows about. I think I can explain. Different than what I know. Okay, please try to explain this. It's, um, it's a very, very superstitious, and so he's saying if they're handicapped, somebody did something bad at some point, karmatically, to make them that way, and if you laugh at them, you'll fuck up your face or your kids. We forgot a big part of the story. Bodies. Yeah, that was... Am I right, James Cook? Well, I think I think he's coming out of the Vudun tradition. Yes. I know it somewhat. Vudun. I mean, I, I've danced with a Loa, and I don't have any answers to that. Really? I, for one, am shocked that a place as advanced and uh, sophisticated as Africa believes in witchcraft. <laughs> Okay. It's actually voodoo. Okay, if I may just say this, now we're trying to take it in a funny way, and I think that uh, James Clare was being very serious about this because it takes a lot of knowledge. Do you understand what he was talking about? Yeah. And you do. What was his Zulu you danced with? I, I, I've danced with Aloha. Aloha, excuse me. And, and you know, Is that I, the, I've I've, I've, I, know, I know the Orishas, so... 
Yeah, you're deep, man. Yeah, so he's not trying to laugh at the four people, is what he's saying. <laughs> he's trying to... Try I, see, to I see you got some knowledge, man, about this stuff. Yeah, I don't you use very much it, I know. though I know how it works. Do you have something in common with uh, Bernie Sanders? You look like it. What? I look like, yeah, well, you know, we got in politics at about the same age. And this show is the same, this show is same on time fire right for all now. our lives, not changing that position at all. Like twins. Uh, how many politicians haven't changed their position? The only Yo, one Don, there's rumors in, in town, there's rumors of Bushman and, uh, and, uh, James Clear-Lewis. James Clear-Lewis getting their own spin-off program. Can you confirm or deny this? I'm going to tell you right now. On Simply Down the Podcast Network, one of the great has three of the greatest podcasts ever on one fucking network. And we were thinking about anybody here could possibly have a spin-off 